Hey, hey, hey! How y'all doing? This is Let's Play Get Rid of Tooltips. No, I'm just kidding. Cracking skulls in the rust yards. I'll be in there. They'll probably make me a lieutenant. Uh-huh. I'll have more credits than I know what to do with. Jewelry, dresses, speeders, whatever you want, baby. Uh-huh. <laughs> That's funny. Um, but yeah, we are. Let's play Star Wars: The Old Republic. My name is Robert with RPR, and I'm your host. We are playing an Imperial agent. Hey, my drink going? Where you going with my drink, man? I ordered an hour ago, Brody. Why you going away with my drink? Come back here with my drink. I'm just playing, just playing, just playing. So let's get this party started. We can go ahead and get our missiones going, so you know what that means. Silence is golden. Golden oats. Hello there, handsome. No, no, don't say anything yet. Play it casual. I'm an old girlfriend and we're getting reacquainted. A mutual friend thinks it's important that you acquire some new skills and weaponry. I've arranged a contact in Jaguna to get you started. Now pretend we're all caught up and leave. Casually. It was great seeing you again. Keep in touch. You too, Blade. Be safe out there. Buddy. You're my ex-girlfriend, but you're a buddy. The buddy system. Wah, wah, wah. All right. So, let me see. What else yonders do we got to do? Where else yonders? Looks like I got to go up in yonder mode. Something I got to do up in here. So let's go ahead and do that, shall we? So I hope you guys are having a great Monday. Getting rid of those Monday blues. The weekend is over. That's sad for me because now there is no more double XP. Uh-oh, we got story mode. Story mode. Okay, we gotta get rid of the hidden surveillances. Let me see. No, no, oi, wait, let's see it's bugged, bugged, so airy, what, what, there's one, so I guess it says something when you uh, hover over it, door panel is not, there it is, aha, chest table, bugged the chest table, the round chest table, it's funky, The stout liquor bottle, which is on the ground. Who's watching TV that close to the couch like that? With the surround sound. Look at the surround sound. Look at them speakers. Couch like that and the speakers. Look like old school. Alright, let's go ahead and talk to our holocron master. Well done, Agent. The listening device is working perfectly, and Nemro can keep no more secrets from us. Imperial Intelligence has determined that Nemro's human lieutenant, Carlos Javis, is the weak link in his operation. You're going to twist the man until he serves us. He won't be any trouble to manipulate. Unfortunately, Carols is on the verge of disfavor with Nemro, while the Twi'lek Lieutenant Tafligem, I believe, is Nemro's rising star. I want you to go to Carol's and offer your services as the Red Blade. Do whatever is required to bring Carol's glory in Nemro's eyes. It's trivial enough, I'll handle it. Indeed you will. One other thing, Agent. This operation of ours has drawn the attention of a member of the Dark Council, Darth Jadus himself. The Council's authority is second only to that of the Emperor. It's a rare honor for an intelligence operation to be overseen in this way. I believe I understand, sir. I won't disappoint you. Report back once you've rendered whatever aid Carol's requires. Keep her out. Alright. 
Alright, so we got some Darth action looking over on us. Is this better? Ooh, it's way better! Better than the gun that we got in the chest, so we're gonna go ahead and equip those. Looks like I still got my stem, so I don't need to push another one just yet. I like that, how they do that. They, uh, keep the timer going. Even when you're, uh, when you're not logged in, it, uh, pauses the timer, so that's pretty cool. You don't waste your buffs and your stems and junk. So it looks like we got another quest on the bottom, which is the story, and we got another one up in here. That's the thing about this game. It's uh, some of the missions have nothing to do with levels. As long Telling as you complete you, baby, the I'm missions before of it, it, it will uh, uh -huh. pop a new one. Let's go ahead and talk to this dude. You? Yes! Oh, yes! Oh, saved, of course! Nemro the Bounteous takes me from the swamp, yes? He gives me a new name, new job, he makes me Morsel, the administrator. Nemro orders me to keep work camp enforcers in line, but they hired to bully Evil Kai. They laugh at me. We're talking about gunplay, or just a stern talking to? Enforcers hard to hire, harder to keep, so they think they can do as they please, but we can't kill them. Go to work camp, wave your gun in Chief Enforcer's face, make him see more so no one to laugh at. And I have stack of credits for you. Stack of credits is always good. Morsel. Alright, so, uh, if you're watching these videos in full screen, I do apologize for the border, the black border going all the way around the screen. In the uh, big mode, in a small mode, the borders are only on the left and right side. The reason why I'm doing it like that is because my monitor and my desktop run at a 1600 by 1280 uh, resolution. And that gives me the crisp graphics. It will actually make it look a lot better. You can probably read you know, the text and everything. Even though it, the border is around it and it sort of looks like crap that way, at least you can see it a lot better than if I put it on... Uh, 720 so yeah a lot better is a lot better I think if you guys would like it back to the 720 and if in the fill screen let me know and I'll put it like that but for now I'm gonna keep it on like this because it's more crisp so leave your comment below if you want it changed up let's go back into another another storyline another all right let's roll Where's he at? Where's he at? Don't be in such a hurry, Blade. Don't you remember me? Your old buddy, Dino Ray? Now, you haven't aged well since we met up on Hoth. Your nose. And your skin. But you couldn't be an imposter. You know your friend Dino. Get out of my way. I'm doing business with Nemro now. Yeah, I'm hearing a lot about the Red Blade's visit to Hutta. Which puts me in a bind. You see, you don't look like the Blade I know. The Blade who owes me credits. But you say you're the Blade, so I'll take you at your word and ask for my money. You understand? I understand, all right. You're a rat who needs to die. That's Is right. That so? Well, let's see what you can do, Blade. Second, guys, give me one second. There we go. I was trying to stab the guy, but I didn't have it in my uh, in my crouch, my cover arsenal. Oh well. Blade. Come on over. Glad to see you're enjoying the palace. 
Look, I've only got five minutes before I have to go meet with some alien freaks. And I want to ask you something. You've been around the galaxy a few times. What's it like dealing with the Empire? That's been good business, and the government hasn't given me much trouble. You're one of the last real independents. I admire you for that, but your kind is dying out. The Huts have taken control of the gangs, and I think real soon the Republican Empire will want control of the Huts, even if Nimrod won't believe it. So, if we gotta pick a side, I wanna pick a winner, and I don't see the Empire losing. That sounds reasonable, but what are you gonna do about it? For starters, I make sure I'm not being stupid. There's more on the line than business. My sons are free traders. They're doing business in the Sullis system. It's their first time dealing with the Empire, so I worry. I probably shouldn't. But you came to me for a reason. What can I do for you, Blade? Where it is, you're on the outs with your boss. Is it true? Nemro's been stewing in his slime since we lost a shipment of rare ores in the Evokai lands. He blames me for some reason. Now the Evokai, they're Hutta natives from before the cartel came. They mostly want us dead. If you get that shipment back, I'll pay you good. All right, I'm interested. Then maybe we both come out ahead. There's a work camp outside Jaguna. Nimro set it up for some evil Kai who wanted peace. Bad deal, poor rubes. The chief there, Odef, was supposed to talk to the other evil Kai tribes about returning the ore, but he didn't come through. He knows something, though. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have an appointment to keep. But I look forward to seeing if the Red Blade's as good as they say. Oh, sure enough is. All right, let's get on out of here. Running slow, running slow. I wish I was level 15 or a subscriber so I can get my sprint on. Not like the AT&T sprint. I'm telling you, baby, I'm big time. All right, so I don't think there's anything more else we can do up in here. Let me check. That's a negative, so let's go ahead and muster on out of here. So I'm really enjoying this game. It's the storyline is really intensive. I mean, even the you know the really low, low, low level not level like non-story missions like the stuff that is just like oh go kill this and come back type quest has a huge storyline to it. You know what I mean? It's pretty awesome. I like how they're doing it. Uh, what who do I gotta talk to here? I gotta talk to my trainer. I gotta talk to my trainer. Dude, you're invisible. What happened? You're on fire shockwave. Anonymity, deception. These are your tools. Nice. Get some new skills. We get debil debil debilitate, 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 t debilitate. Deals 31 to 36 energy damage and sell us a target for four seconds. Snipe shoots a target for 131 and 149. Weapon damage can only be used from cover. Okay, okay. Trust no one. Oh, it was a rank two. Okay, nice. All right, so debilitate. We're gonna want to put before our grenaders, our nadelets. So we got our little arsenal rolling through. We got an arsenal going. Level four, very nice. All right, looks like we have to go back to the cantina. Yeah, that's a table. Can't run through tables. Tried. Doesn't work too well. All right. So before we go out and start questing, let's go ahead and run to the cantina.
gonna rock you out. Oh, okay. I did not know that's how that works. That's pretty cool. Hold on one second, guys. Hold on. Put an explosive probe on the target that detonates when the target takes damage. Oh, that is really cool. I did not know it did that. That's pretty cool. I thought it was just time and it just blew up. But it's like a sticky bomb where you detonate it with damage. That's pretty cool. Alright, let's go into the cantina and see what's up. What's the haps on the mix? What's the good news? Thank you for returning my son to me. I don't know what became of my husband and I don't much care. Soon Zion will be on the shuttle to Korriban. You did what was needed. I'm deadly and charming. Here's your reward, as promised. Zion may hate me for getting his father killed, but I hear hate and grief make for a fine Sith. I'm not gonna pause it. It's everything is at least fairly close. It's not really too close, but it's fairly close, so not worth uh, pausing for. Us. Boom, yo! Can't get enough saying that. And you're gonna hear it a lot. My bad. I'm no, gonna hear it a lot. My bad. I'm just gonna say boom. Boom to everything. Boom you! Boom! <laughs> Alright, let's go outside the city. Our first look outside. In this beautiful, desolate, yellow... What in the hell is that? Oh, I guess it's the moon. Wow, that's a big moon. <laughs> I was like, whoa, there's spider webs on the sky. What happened? <laughs> Nature destination. All vehicles leave on time. Alright, we got that going. Oh, I have to get the good res points. Done and done, data diddy done. Okay, so let's go ahead and first thing I like to do when I'm playing this game is I always like to go ahead and go in the new environment and check if the native stuff has uh, bonuses on it. So let's go ahead and find that out real quick. It doesn't look like it does, because I would have had it right there. Let's go ahead and kill some of these bog dogs, whatever they are. Swamp snarlers. Okay, those also don't have it. Yeah, those also don't have the bonus. So, uh, let me see. Those are also bog dogs. I'm just gonna call them bog dogs. Sounds pretty cool. <laughs> um, let me see here. Oh, those are different. So let's go ahead and find out if these do or not. No, but I got a beachary for it, so that's pretty cool. Little codex moment. Don't get that wrong with the Kodak moment. It's the Codex moment. Let me 
see where to go. I guess we gotta go in the Evo Kai camp. So I'm gonna go ahead and go and do that. Why you gonna go and do that, love, huh? This is probably where I get my first heroic, I think. I'm not sure on that. So don't quote me. Don't quote me. What up, buddy? What's up, yo? I hear you're giving Morsel a hard time. That you don't respect Nemro's authority. What? Who are you? Oh, man. Hey, look, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm really sorry. Me and the boys were just having some fun. You, we didn't think you, you're not gonna kill me, are you? If I have to come back out here, it will be the last time. You are not gonna have to come back out here again, boss. I guarantee it. We we won't give Morsel a hard time anymore. Won't even laugh at his name. Swear. I should have read what it said. I think uh, if I killed him, I would have got good, <laughs> good from it or whatever. I let him live. I don't know what it was. I should have looked. But, uh, I got evil. I got trigger happy and just push it right away. Nice XP. A little thousand tip. Yeah, I think this guy is a heroic quest. We're not going to be able to do that today. But that's alright. That's alright. I'm just going to gather the quest and then probably call it a video. Excuse me. Yes, over here. I know. I sound strange. You don't have to say it. Forty years I worked in the factories, by the way. Breathing the noxious poisons they produced. I made a fair number of credits. But now my lungs are useless. Spines are bent from hard labor. I can't do anything for myself. I can ask for help from someone strong, like you. I'm not in the business of charity, old man. Why should I help you? Well then, because I can pay for services rendered, I suppose. Before the effects of Hutter's pollution made me an invalid, I set up a pollution treatment system to clean the river. Every extra credit I had went into maintaining that system until the settlers on the river drove me out. Your environmental concerns aren't my problem. Just hear me out, please. If the Huts hadn't paid off the settlers in the area to drive me away, the river would be pure again. The river needed only one more treatment to be free of their vile filth. All I'm asking is that you take the last treatment to the river. Of course I'll take the last treatment. Excellent. Thank you. This canister contains the purifying chemicals. The filtration systems up at the old muckworks. Good luck. Alright, so it is a heroic. As you can see right here, we got our first heroic quest. It is the man with the steel voice. Investigate the filter station. I probably do not need a group for this, only because I know what the quest is and it's really not that bad uh, solo. But what heroic means, uh, heroic 2 plus means you should have at least two people in your party to do it. Um, I would not recommend using a companion as one of those people. Even though companions can be pretty powerful, they don't really have the same, uh, I guess, strengths as a human player would. Uh, for instance, like a tank, a companion, even though they can hold off the damage, it's not as good. And they don't use their skills wisely. They just keep spamming them over and over again. If it's active, they'll just spam the hell out of it. If it's not active, they don't use it. You know, it's just one or the other. They don't really use them wisely. So they just keep doing stuff over and over again. It's not really like they're uh, smart, I, I guess you could say. Um, so if you're ever going to do a heroic, on the first planet, it's okay. You know, use your companion. I mean, even on the first planet, some the heroic twos are almost soloable, so it's not really that hard. Um, but after you get off your first planet, you know, all your heroics, you're gonna have to do in a party uh, with actual players. We are gonna do this one with a party. I don't have time to do it today, 
and the video is winding down so I'm gonna go ahead and grab this uh, last quest turn in maybe the others and then just call it a day so I hope you guys enjoyed Shua hi, stranger. That's Evokai native speak for hello. Don't get a lot of visitors here who aren't backward savages. You uh, come to the work camp looking for laborers? That's none of your business. Right you are. I spend so much time around these Evokai savages I forget my manners. My name's Varsunta, by the way. I deal salvage to the Evokai. Smelly work, but profitable. Most Evokai are decent, though not too bright. Like my little helper here. Say hello, Imat. Welcome to Varsunta's many treasures. Do you know the Black Death who slaughters my people? Imat, I keep telling you, not every offworlder knows the Black Death. Oh, ignore him, stranger. This isn't your problem. Sounds to me like you're losing valued customers. It's true. Business is way down lately. The Black Death kills my people for sport. Butchers women and children. He started out hunting hostile Evokai in the swamps, but now he's killing ones from the work camp. Having the time of his life. Keeps their ears and teeth as trophies. If this slaughter keeps up, I might have to get a real job. You know, I'll bet someone like you could convince this guy to quit. I'd sure make it worth your while. I have more important things to do. Are you sure? You just have to talk to the guy. Easiest credit you'll ever make. You'd better not be wasting my time. My livelihood is worth a lot to me. You're looking for a vehicle out in the swamps surrounded by security droids. This uh, Black Death guy doesn't like visitors. You'll probably want to do something about his droids before you try talking to him. Good luck! All right, so I'm going to go ahead and end the video on that note. I hope you guys enjoyed. We got to our next little encampment. We are about, I would say, maybe a good third of the way done with the entire map. Yeah, about that. Uh, we have a few more missions to run through, quite a bit, actually. But uh, not too much more. I'm hoping by the next couple videos we'll be off this planet. So... I didn't pause the videos in the uh, first two and, the, and then this one, only because, you know, everything is sort of close quartered. If it's really close quartered, I'm just going to go ahead and run it. If, you know, we have to go back and forth a lot, or if it's like really far out there and I have to take a taxi that takes like a couple minutes or whatever, to save time, I'm going to pause the video, you know, go there and then, you know, replay the video and, you know, take it on from there that way. Because the cutscenes themselves are taking a lot of time. But I want you guys to get, you know, immersed in the storyline like I am. The storyline is what makes this game. It's really awesome. You guys should enjoy it. So, on that note, I will see you guys tomorrow with another 9D. I do apologize for anybody out there who is watching this and did not see my MMO Monday. I will bring that segment back next Monday. Uh, I have something special planned for it. And, yeah. So, I hope you guys have a good Monday. And I will see you tomorrow. Take it easy. Peace.